There we go. There's your thumbnail. Hey, this is David with Haggerty, our Redline Rebuild updates. Today I'm working back on our CT70 rebuild and I got a lot of parts scattered out. We're gonna put in everything that we have laid out here on the table, basically get this back half of the bike uh, complete and then we'll move on to the front end. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get rolling. We are starting the fresh lay painted fuel tank. I find it kind of interesting that there is no really a true clamp that holds this in to the bike. It has uh, this big rubber uh, gasket on the front, which is really just an isolator, so it doesn't bounce around and clank in the body of the bike here. And then it has two of these that lay in the inside. And then ultimately there is this top piece, but it doesn't really clamp to the gas tank. Kind of a neat way to do it. I might have to open Here, pause that for just a second. So if you're wondering why I have a wire attached to my fuel line that doesn't seemingly be terminated relative to the carburetor yet or cut, um, my process here or thought is I have a finite amount of tubing and I do need to little, use a little bit more for a couple drains. So what I'm going to do is I put both of them on here first. I can't put them on after it's in going to thread this through but I can't grab a hold of anything because I already put my air cleaner on so my holes kind of plugged up so instead of taking the air cleaner back out I'm just going to use this uh, wire as a fish and drag it down and then I can cut my cut my fuel lines uh, to size and minimize my waste All right, so you got back your brand new chromed parts or refurbished in some fashion. You still may have to do a little bit of more work to them before you put them on your project. So here's our rockauto.com tip of the day. On the backside, when you get through done chroming, they typically look like this because chrome doesn't want to stick to the kind of the rough, sur rough surface so you don't get a good coverage. So what I like to do is take some sort of silver paint in this case it happens to be some rust-oleum brand and uh, basically spray in there it covers up that nasty ugliness and it will help stop it from rusting a little further and last a lot longer Voila. beautiful Breaking news. We're finally getting back to the back end of the bike here. We're gonna get on our swing arm, get our wheel assembly with the brake in, get the brakes connected, and 
can get all attached to the back end of this beauty. Oh man, who got that bolt off shiny for you? It looks nice. Ben did a nice job plating some parts. Oh, yeah. That's not entirely the truth. That's true, I did the ones that turned out really well. That's also not the truth. <laughs> the truth is, is that nobody can get it consistently good. Oh, now you want consistency. Come on. It's all I want. He said it couldn't be done. Look at that, that was easy. Something like that. That's shocking. It fits. All right, well, there's our unicycle complete from the back half. We gotta do the front still, I guess. And, uh, but that's the end of the day. So get out in the shop, get your work done. And uh, when you come back, we're gonna complete the front end. See ya. Oh, down with the camera. Down with the camera.